How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying she has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies. And you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now, let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the Sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry.
someone has to stop these creatures, otherwise you'll never reach Constantin. Are you sure that you want to do this? If I can give you just a few more minutes, at least it's something. So yes, I'm sure. Go now and stop your cousin. I don't want to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you and good luck.
You're arriving too late. Your cousin is already on his way to the sanctuary. We fought as best we could, but new beasts just kept coming. We'll do everything we can to give you more time. We'll fight to the death if we must. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. To arms! with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck.
There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin has already reached the heart. Our other allies informed me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too. Constantine!
I do not desire your death. I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. <laughs> this makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin, and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power, the political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this, to send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here, something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. Once Constantine had fallen, Deirdre kept her promise. She led all the native clans as they managed to drive the invaders off their island. The island found peace again, and nature took over the abandoned cities. But the old nations were plunged into war, and the Malikor grew ever more devastating. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dumkasi's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his sister-in-arms. 
Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. These precious friendships allowed my student to slowly forget Kurt's treason, even though she still feels bitter about it at times. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the Seaside Gnemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. After driving off the settlers, Deirdre started destroying what they had built. She wanted to erase all traces of the Inquisitors and Savants who had hurt her people, only keeping what her Karantz advised her to keep. Thanks to the help Dunkas's clan received, it continued on its mission to heal the Earth. It attracted many young islanders who were eager to learn.